is Wani and welcome to Wani's house. In today's video, I am sharing with you an event that I went to today and they had set up some amazing displays. And I thought that it would be great for me to share with you in the event that you are planning some type of special event at your home or your church. It could be a wedding, an anniversary, the prom is coming up, or a very special birthday. And so they had some amazing buffet set up, some amazing tablescapes. And I really wanted to share them with you because these tablescapes and buffets are really easy to execute. You may have to be very creative, but a lot of the items you can purchase from the Salvation Army as well as the Dollar Tree. So let's start with this tablescape here. This was the first tablescape that I saw and it was amazing. And I was amazed at how simple the centerpiece was. This can easily be done with a glass long cylinder or what about one of those clear glass acrylic storage containers that you use in your refrigerator. Put some of that onion grass or artificial grass or artificial turf at the bottom and use some Gerber daisies. This was beautiful. I love each um, table setting and each um, seat was decorated with a different table set and so it was just amazing. Those cylinders can be purchased from the Dollar Tree. You can get the um, floating candles from Joann's and Michael's and use your own silverware. The table here is like a barnyard table, but you can use a regular rectangle table or a rustic tablecloth and get the same effect. The going down the, the, the middle of the table is this really nice runner. Use a couple of placemats and spray paint them. You can get the same effect. But what I loved here was mixing the metals with these gold place settings and the silver chargers. Now this is how the setting was over the table. Simple to create. You can just use um, the frame of a tent or a canopy and wrap it with tool. You can get the same effect. This is one view of the dessert station which was amazing and I love having the finger foods and the small bite sized desserts which would be very fancy to have at your event and this is another station here this flower arrangement here this is something that our girl Michelle at Design Fund I know she would be able to create but this station was created using a lot of mirrors and octagon you can get the octagon mirrors from um, Hobby Lobby and cinnamon risers and you had on this station there were various types of um, food served on the spoons it was um, apple um, crumble and uh, apple tart served in the little small miniature bite size looks very fancy and your guests will really enjoy this I love the round table how about using the patio table for that now this centerpiece is nothing but a flower tied with a burlap ribbon sit on um, a round mirror in the center of a table. It was very simple but very elegant. Now this was actually um, a taco on um, Tex-Mex station in the large um, margarita glass was your seven layer dip. You had your colored um, tortillas, your salsa, and some churros on this station. I loved it because it in the tall silver margarita glasses were your pita breads, and then you had hummus, and on the other side in the small um, plastic um, margarita glasses, there were different types of salad. There was an orzo salad. There was a a chicken salad like a um, Greek chicken salad that I'm going to show you momentarily that has the lemon wedge in it and you just squeeze the lemon over the chicken and there was some um, couscous at the bottom as well as some olives some Greek olives and you squeeze it over it was amazing another um, and because you're serving you're guessing these small portions they're gonna get um, full fairly um, quickly and you can have little portions so you won't have to spend a lot of money 
I know in California they have pre-prom parties for the adults when the kids go to the prom. This will be something really nice to have for a pre-prom or something like that. Um, there's so many ideas I had for these types of um, parties where you can have various types of stations. Now this was the salad that I was talking to you about. They had the olives and the tomatoes and the chicken and there's some mint on the side. This salad was amazing guys. And I'm going to see if I can recreate it at least. Call the chef to see if maybe he would share with me the recipe. But guys, I just wanted to share this experience with you guys. Hopefully it gave you some ideas. If you're planning your anniversary, a prom party, or a before prom, or after prom party, or whatever type of event that you're planning to um, hopefully enlighten you and give you some inspiration on different ways you can utilize your tables, set up your um, actual dinner table, as well as set up your dessert or any type of station that you may want to have at your event. If you like this video, some videos like this, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what do you think about this type of video. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Also, if you're new to Winning's House, I would love for you to subscribe and I will make sure that I place the subscribe button at the end of this video. And guys, I really want to thank all of my returning subscribers for your continued support. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video, but before I go, you know what I always say. The next time you're in town, you can always stop by Wani's house. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. You want to do it. That's the truth. Yes, I do. Oh, my, with blue cheese, too? Oh. Um, can I have chicken? And some mushrooms? And some blue cheese. That would be all, man. That would be all.